Okay, we are on Hudson Island in the Gulf Islands between the mainland and Vancouver Island. It is Friday, May the 23rd, and we have found some wonderful yew trees, live yew trees here on the island. There's one right behind us, and there's a, a double trunker here, and we're going to take the small trunk of this side. Uh, that way we won't actually kill the entire tree. And we're taking this small tree because it's actually a better tree and there'll be more productive space in it. So we're going to fell this side at the crotch here and we're going to leave this tree and let it continue to grow. Which is kind of cool because we're going to cut a tree and not kill it. And it looks to me like we have probably 12 to 15 feet of clear tree on the inside here that we'll likely be able to get two nice staves out of. So we'll cut this. It appears to be about 10 or 12 inches in diameter and we'll quarter it. So here's the two logs that we cut from that single tree in the double trunk tree. This is the bottom part of the trunk and luckily we were able to see clean wood for 14 feet so we have two seven foot long beautiful U logs. I'm guessing the, the diameter of the biggest end portion is about 10 inches. So that will, that will nicely split, this will nicely split into likely four staves. Okay, so we have nicely nine inches across the base of the biggest log. That will easily split into four nice big staves. And uh, it seems like the face, this face here where we have up is beautifully straight. This will probably be the premium stave right here. One little pin knot here, one little knot here and here, but I think we'll be able to split it with those two knots right on the edge and it's clean all the way from the trunk on this first seven foot log, the big log. And then this smaller one from the top, the back side, the outside facing away from the other big tree has got a little bit of damage in the sapwood. It's actually got some, uh, some bug holes in it, but that's just in the rotten sapwood, so that's not a big deal. So this face here, will very easily yield, I'm guessing, at least two, maybe three staves. So we've likely got four to five nice big staves out of these two logs.